Welcome to another Vengeance Producer Suite Phalanx video. In this episode, we'll be taking a closer look at the main structures in Phalanx, the so-called sample pads. Phalanx has 16 sample pads, each containing two sample slots. Select the currently active sample using the Sample A and Sample B buttons. Whenever you load a sample into a sample pad by dragging and dropping it from the librarian, you can choose whether you want it in the A slot or the B slot. A crossfader controls the relative volumes of the two samples. The far left position means 100% sample A and no sample B. The center means 100% of both, and the far right means 100% sample B and no sample A. Perfect for mixing a couple of kick drums or for layering a clap with a snare sound. So in principle, Phalanx is capable of loading 32 different samples. Independently for sample A and sample B, each sample pad includes several control knobs and functions. Let's start at the top. On the left, we have a color selector we can use to change the background color of each sample pad. For instance, you could give your darker sounds a dark color and your brighter sounds a brighter color. It's up to you. In the same row is also the sample pad's name, which you can freely edit to suit the particular sound. Next, we have the waveform view showing the currently loaded sample. Where the sample actually starts can be shifted by moving the green line, the sample start offset. Remix. Remix. Mix. 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 Remix. Remix. Using random offset, the sample can even start at a random position. 50% here means a random position anywhere up to half the sample length. Remix. If you find your sample is too soft or too loud, you can boost or attenuate it using the gain control. And if you want that sample to play backwards, click on the R button you can see in the top right hand corner. Skimmy. Next is a field showing the file name of the sample that was loaded into this particular slot. Below that is the sample A slash B crossfader we already demonstrated. The Voices field shows the number of instances of the sample currently being played by the sample pad. <laughs> the maximum number of voices per sample pad is 16. The Mute and Solo buttons have the usual functions. They let you audition only the sample pads you want to hear. Here are some more features. Transpose A adjusts the pitch in semitone steps. Fine Tune also adjusts pitch, but continuously and with a finer resolution. LPFA is a low pass filter for reducing high frequencies. And HPFA is a high pass filter for reducing low frequencies. Lo fi A sends the sample through a combination of bit crusher and rate reducer. Spike A emphasizes attack peaks, also known as transients. Spike A is great for giving kicks and snares more impact. Pan A or B adjusts the stereo position of either sample A or sample B, depending on which one is selected. And by the way, the same applies to all the controls described here. They only affect the currently selected sample, A or B. If you want to change the panorama position for both samples at the same time, this is the control you need. Just like the large volume fader, this one applies to the whole sample pad, the sum of sample A and sample B. The last feature in the list is Retrigger. Retrigger is a fantastic sound mangling tool. In principle, it causes the sample to restart, and the speed at which it does this can get very fast. The retrigger feature is great for those wicked acceleration breaks or snare drum buildups. 
The retrigger can be fast enough to morph any sample into an oscillator type sound. You can play melodies then with your kick or percussion sample. You just have to make sure the retrigger key track parameter in the MIDI and ARP page is set to 100%. We've all heard this tune before. So you can imagine the infinite sound mangling possibilities with the retrigger feature, especially using the modulation matrix and external controllers. You can find more info about all that in the modulation matrix video. Next, we have the selectors for the sample pads inputs and outputs. 16 freely routable stereo outputs are available per sample pad. To use multiple outputs, all you have to do is activate them in your sequencer. You can also select the MIDI channel you want the sample pad to receive here. All 16 channels are available. To provide a total overview, you can change the width of the sample pads to slim mode, either all of them at once, or each one separately. That's all for now about the sample pads of Phalanx. See you in the next video!